Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, very interesting tonight at uh, Mickey's Athletic. Nice to interview Danny Madison and Dale Kellum, both nice lads. Uh, people might think, well, why have you put uh, why we put amateurs on, Ross? Well, because it's a boxing, isn't it? These kids have still got a story to tell, aren't they? And why not? Does it, does it, uh, does it mean I can't put them on because they've not won a British title, or you know they're not, they're not winning winning belts, or not professionals? And no, it, they've, they've still got a story to tell, and their story is that Mickey's athletic. It's probably. T probably turn their lives around so that's what their story is so other than that I'm all right I'm uh, I'm gonna go get some pennies and I'm going out then to play snooker on my own then I want to go home and I'm gonna upload these videos, the Josh Whale interview. I'm going to put that up straight away. I might even put it up for tomorrow night and it gives people a chance to spread the word. Uh, about the interview with Josh Whale because it's a great story isn't it, Josh's. And obviously, yes, the people that keep sending me emails saying you're only pushing Josh Whale and that because you kept going on and on and on to sign him with Dennis and he's your mate. Well look, he weren't me mate, we're just associates and we've become good mates, haven't we? And that's what happens, isn't it? So it's just it's no no different to working with anybody else in boxing industry, isn't it? Good people aren't they, my kind of people. You know if you as long as you're honest with we we Mick and Josh, they're right enough for you, but good people. I got on with them. I like them. Uh and Josh's story is a fantastic story, isn't it? I think I've got any money on me. Some money on me, I can go straight there. I call it this. Uh, call it cash machine. Some pennies of that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have a look. We all it for petrol. Yeah, we're all right for petrol. I'm not putting out in this. My kid's mum's this. In uh I'll put that over there in a minute. Sick at camera pointing at me. Here we are, Cunnies with Doncaster. It's a good cash machine here. Never got no money in this cash machine here. One in Edlow has been smashed up, so I don't want to get some pennies out. What day is it today? Is it Wednesday today? Thursday or Wednesday? I forgot what day it is. I forgot track of days. But I just want to get playing today. I just want to turn my arm over, knock a few balls about, and uh, go home and have my tea then. That's a lot to ask, is it? No, oh, I don't think that's a lot to ask. Cash machine here, isn't there? Go in here. Look inside my side. Oh, to put some petrol in here, I might as well, I know while I'm here. Fill it up. Pour a bit of petrol in. Can't be lending people's cars and not put no petrol in, can you? It's not on, is it? I'll put her a few quid in it. Put her a few quid in. I 
have a look. 79,000 mile. How old? Eight year old. How many miles have you been doing there? 79,000. Eight year old. I think I've got a bit of OCD. I like to uh, reset everything. Vandalized, unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Everywhere I go, cash machines have been vandalized. Unbelievable. No red wine, no cash, cash machine. It don't rain, it pours, doesn't it? It don't rain, it pours. Other 
than that, I'm all right. I enjoyed it in there tonight. Now, a lot of people who are amateurs, they tend to uh, have a job as well. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's quite tiring, I'd have thought, with training and that. But them lads that are, are training at Mix, the like I've just interviewed, one's a joiner, one is a ground worker, so they go and do the manual jobs, and then they go train at night, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I think that's brilliant, and obviously the, the people that are helping them, the, the coaches, and they don't, they don't get paid to give the time up, they're the real heroes of boxing, they're the people like them there, and obviously Chester who works at Tom Hills you know these people they don't take a penny out of jobs they don't get paid they don't take a penny out of who lives down there they don't take a penny and I think they're the real they're the stars people who train amateur people they're not getting paid they're giving up the time up we have heard Dave Allen's training amateur fighters now and I tip me out to people who do that you know and People can say Dave Allen's this and that, but if he's giving his time up to train people, cash machine up here. Well, up here, isn't there? Sainsbury's. If, they, if they're giving up the time to do that, uh, like I said, I think that's brilliant. I think that's brilliant. I hope this cash machine's not uh, all smashed up. Otherwise I'll end up running around Cunningsville looking for a cash machine because the, the two in Edlow are smashed up. I mean, what, what's the world coming to here? I can't even get any cash out of machines because they're smashed up. It's unbelievable, isn't it? A porky got to drive around Doncaster, driving all over DN12 looking for a cash machine in a car with two scooters in back. Yeah, I'll strap them in. Yeah, get me a car, I want a nice car, I want a four wheel drive. I want one I feel safe in. Yeah, like, I'll get you one you feel safe in, if you look after it. Yeah, there's McDonald's wrappers on the floor here. And two scooters in back that have probably been in there. And knocking all interior about in back. Yeah, brilliant. I'll get you a Ford Fiesta next time. Uh, 950 pop. I'll get you a 950 pop. <laughs> Old 950 pop on job. Oh, what this about? This is getting to be a nightmare, I can't even got a cash machine without messing up. Wrong bank innit? it? I've got to go back down to Asda now. Uh, have a look. Do you know what? I might as well just sack it and go on man because it's turning into a bad day in Bosnia isn't it this? Trying to get a few quid. Uh, what's that one there? See this is it if you're in Barclays isn't it? Hey, uh, we'll have to try that one in Edlow, see if that's working now. Unbelievable, man. Chasing about, man. But, but yeah, I enjoyed that today in there with, uh, with Mix Lads. They're doing well in there. Doing well. Rain or shine, Mick and Josh have got that gym open and that, you've got to respect that. And you've got to respect all them kids as well. You've got to respect all them people who give the time up. 
There's loads of people that give the time up in the boxing industry. Get in. Get up. But thank you very much, mate. It's my fault that. Yeah, you've got to respect people. We'll give the time up because a lot of people do, don't they? Up here. All I want to do is go for a game of snooker and have a few quid on me to buy a drink. Can't go in there with a pleading cash card. Unbelievable. I just want to. When I go for a game of snooker, I can lose myself and recharge my mind and I can think about how I'm going to play things because. There's a few feet. There's a few people trying to pull pull a few moves with me at the moment, and let's just let's have it right. I may be good with numbers and stuff like that, but other than that, I'm not sharp as cat in box, am I? I I'm not. Uh, I'm not with this boxing game. You don't know where people are coming from, do you? And it's getting to the stage now where I don't even trust people who email me. Because it's other people spoil it for the ones that are all right, aren't they? And, you know, it's getting to a stage where I'm not even looking at my emails that I've got somebody sending me. I'm sorry, but to all the people who are genuine, I just, I'm very distrusted unless I speak to people face to face or on FaceTime. I just don't know what. Because it seems to happen every day, isn't it? People just want to. People just want to shut. Shut. Uh, shut me down don't they, they want to stop me getting to be, I'm still at A aren't I really, which channel, people want to stop me getting to be, but, all them people want to stop me, you keep watching don't you, <laughs> you keep watching, but, there is some good people out there, they don't have to give me gifts, but, like I said, the, the person that got me them trainers, thank you very much, uh, thank you very much. I don't know how you know what size I was. You're not, you're, not, you're not going in and checking me wash trainers when they're on my washing line, are you? <laughs> oh. Uh, all the way down into the village now to the cash machine. Unbelievable. 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 I might just go on, in fact. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go home. I just can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. I'm just going to go home and get these videos uploaded. So, alright. So, shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging or SYPS UK Limited. SYPS UK Limited. And Innovation Alloys. Shout out to Michelle in office. Nice to speak to you. Hope you're well. But most of all, shout out to all the hardcore boxing fans who spend time watching my channels and like I said the the retention is up to 11 and a half minutes so out my 30 minute videos the average is watching 11 and a half minutes and out of all the all the people that watched my videos last week out of all the people that watched my videos last week 40 six percent of you don't subscribe so come on hit that subscribe button and let's grow the channel all right so, all right, peace out.